Hello friends and welcome today I am going to explain about the rack and pinion steering system that is the most convention steering system in use so if you want to see this video in Hindi then I will make this video in Hindi then I will publish this video in Thursday you can see this video in Hindi so for now let's start first of all I must explain you about the components of the steering system that is first of all the steering wheel that is in your hand then there is a steering rod that is connected by a U-joint uh, to the steering rod. The U-joint is given so as to give the freedom of the alignment of the steering wheel uh, according to the uh, ease, ease of the passenger or the driver. The U-joint uh, basically doesn't hurdle, the, doesn't give any restriction to the movement of the steering rod but it can uh, give the uh, ease of the alignment of the steering wheel. Then again the steering rod which is connected to the pinion the pinion is a uh, gear that is, uh, is normal gear, square gear you may say and then rack. Rack is uh, the thing but the uh, a cylindrical rod in which the gears are uh, made is known as the rack and the, from at the two ends of the rack there, there is a tie rod and the tie rod is connected to the rack by a ball joint. Ball joint gives the freedom of the motion to the tie rod and the rack. And then the tie rod is connected to the knuckle arm. Knuckle arm, you may say the steering arm that is uh, present in, uh, with the knuckle arm. So the knuckle arm and the tie rod are again connected by a ball joint. And this knuckle arm is connected to the stub axle which on which the wheel is uh, rotating. So then the then the wheels. So these are the components of the steering, uh, steering assembly. So when you turn the, the working is like that when you turn the steering wheel the steering uh, the steering rod rotates then uh, then when the steering rod, rod rotates the whole steering rod rotates uh, by the the motion the torque you give uh, the torque given by you to the steering wheel is then passed through the steering rod to the pinion and you may you think you you may see the pinion is completely meshed, meshed with the rack and these both are in a assembly are in a casing uh, that is known as rack pinion casing in which uh, they are completely in uh, meshing so since the pinion and rack are com in completely mesh so when the pinion is rotated uh, if you think uh, if the pinion is rotated in this direction then the rack will rotate uh, then, then the rack will move in this direction so actually the rack and pinion assembly is converting the rotational motion to the longitudinal motion or in the displacement motion. So when the rack uh, moves in lateral direction, it pushes the tie rod and has the knuckle arm. Since knuckle arm, since the knuckle is fixed to the body of the vehicle, so the knuckle uh, gives the degree of freedom to the wheel in in this direction only. Uh, the wheel can turn in this direction only so when the rack is uh, when the rack is pushed and the tie rod is the and the force is traveled from the tie rod to the knuckle arm the wheel are moved in according to this direction so as you can see, see through it when the uh, when the pinion you may say this is the pinion if if the pinion is rotated in this direction the rack is displayed this is the rack here this is the rack this is the knuckle arm this is the step action these are the wheels and uh, these knuckles are connected to the body which is fixed ok so since uh, let us assume this is the pinion when pinion is rotated the rack moves the rack displaces in this direction so when rack is displaced let, uh, let us assume these are the wheels when rack is displaced in this direction you, you can see the wheel turn in this direction so this is what actually happens in the rack and pinion uh, steering system when the pinion is rotated in this direction the wheel uh, wheel turns in this direction and vice versa like this there is another specification that you must know about this is the steering ratio steering ratio is the ratio of the uh, rotation that you give to the steering wheel and the uh, degree by which the wheel is turned so steering ratio between uh, wheel and the uh, steering wheel is about 12 is to 1 to 20 is to 1 you can take an example if if one complete turn of the steering wheel 
turns the wheel to 24 degree then the ratio is uh, then the, the ratio of the steering is ca can be calculated as 360 by 24 that is 15 is to 1 so this is the steering wheel ratio steering ratio so you must also know this uh, uh, I think this is all about the steering uh, rack and pinion steering system if you have any doubts and any queries you can ask me in the comment section and if you like this video please share it share it to your friends so that i can connect to them also if you are to my channel please subscribe it at this moment please 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 subscribe it because it gives the motivation to make more and more videos and thanks a lot guys for watching my video keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting